guys, so today I want to talk about um, things that baffle me, or 10 things that baffle me. I've just quickly written down on my little blackboard 10 things that baffle me. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the universe. And I looked up the definition of baffle and it said things like something that perplexes, confuses, or fascinates you or something like that. Um, so yeah, there's different ways of defining it. You can Google it if you don't know what it is. But yeah, 10 things that baffle me. Um, the first thing I wrote down was, or is, was the Big Bang. The reason why the Big Bang baffles me and kind of confuses me and makes me really think is because it's sort of saying that something has come out of nothing. And how can something come out of nothing? Like, how could all of this come out of nothing? Um, and how can nothing come out of something as well? Like, with the concept of nothingness, how can there be nothing? And, like, both of them are impossibilities. So it's like, eh. And then at the same time, it also suggests that there was a beginning of time. I don't... You know, as we as humans, we can't really imagine there not being time. So it's kind of, it kind of, I think everybody is baffled by this. Like, how could there not be time? And what came before time? What came before the Big Bang? I'm actually on number three now. Because number two was beginning of time. Number three is what came before the Big Bang. Which is before the beginning of time. Like, what was, what was it then? Was there nothing? How can nothing come out of something? No. How can something come out of nothing? How can all this have been created? How, how is that possible? And these are things that I sometimes just start thinking about, and I just get this really weird feeling that I sort of like, but it's sort of really weird. And yeah. And then also on the topic of universe, um, how can something be infinite? How could this be infinite? Because then. Then it's infinite, but then again, how can it be finite? How fi finite? I think you say actually. How can it be? How can it not be infinite? How could there, it end? Because there has to be something outside of that. So both of them are impossibilities. It becomes sort of a paradox. Like, how how can it be infinite? But then again, it couldn't have been finite because then something would have to be, like, what would be past a certain point. Uh, so in a sense, it has to be infinite. But then again, we can't really comprehend it being infinite. So it kind of. Our human mind can't comprehend it. Maybe it's infinite and finite somehow. You know, we we just don't know because we can't possibly comprehend that. At least not yet. And and that's where you kind of start to feel kind of small and kind of like this little tiny human that doesn't really know as much as we think. Like we don't really know as much as we think we know uh, because we can't look outside what we've already experienced, what we've already, what we know, and all we know is. The things that are finite, like things that end, um, you know, I don't think we know anything else that's infinite than we than the universe, because we think it's infinite, because we just, I don't know, there's probably some kind of equation or something for it, but then again, how can we be sure? I don't know, I don't, I just, I can, I can lay awake at night and just think about this, and ooh. And then, number five is... Multiple universes. This is also a theory in I think it's in quantum mechanics that there are multiple universes that would say that I Mean of course there has to be multiple universes if you think if the universe is infinite and If the universe is infinite if there's multiple universes that means that every different combination has to be possible So in some universe everything's almost exactly the same as in this universe uh, except that I am somehow a guy, or that I am together with a celebrity, you know, there has to be, every different combination has to be possible if it's infinite and if there's different universes, so that means that in some universe, I am I am me, but I become a pop star, or I, you know, become something else, or I am slightly different, I look slightly different, but I'm still me, you know, every different combination has to be possible, you know what I'm saying, I don't, I don't know if you even get what I'm saying, but <laughs> I'm thinking about these kind of things makes me kind of happy, because my imagination just runs wild and I just start thinking that like, whoa, that means that somewhere I am really successful <laughs> in some other universe. Um, yeah. And then, almost connected to this, 
is something that really baffles me. It's humanity's ignorance or people's ignorance for, you know, never thinking about these kind of things and people just sort of don't doesn't really cross their mind that often that we are on this planet, we are in space, we are this little on this little big air, not aircraft, spacecraft called Earth flying through space and there, we are in space and <laughs> just all these things like people don't think much about that I'm not dissing, I don't know, I just wish people would think more existentially um, and I love to talk to people about this. I love to talk to humans and connect about existence and make people realize how amazing it is that we exist. And oh, I love when people talk to me about that or I talk with them about that. And we, I just connect. Even strangers just talking about that just makes me so happy to get people to think. When I, if I get a person to think about these kind of things, I just feel so good inside. And that's sort of the point of my YouTube channel. So. I don't always talk about space and stuff, but that is part of the point of my YouTube channel. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna cross out all of these. Me, 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 me. So number seven is society. That sort of that sort of goes under humanity's ignorance because society is in some sense what makes us ignorant because we're conditioned through society to think more about oh, what that celebrity was wearing or oh, you know such not open-minded things that are happening in the world and also society is kind of just keeping us within this box I mean of course we need structure we need some sort of a society we need laws uh, but a lot of laws are bullshit I'm not going to get into that, uh, but society just really baffles me. Society should be built up in a different way. And then uh, I'm also thinking about the media when I say society, so that's going to be under the same point. Um, because the media is part of society, part of what is conditioning our mind to think about these pity things, these things like celebrities, like just these things that don't really matter rather than, you know, writing about the universe or writing about, you know, things that make people really feel good. You know, we're m m much more focused on our bodies, which will decay, than we are on the stars and the universe. I felt like I've said that many times, but that is just so fucking sad that people focus more on their appearance, which will eventually decay, than they do on these beautiful stars that we ha can look upon and uh, life really like focus more on fucking bodies it's so annoying and which is funny because now I'm gonna go on to number eight which is our body but in a different way my body baffles me because of all the things that are working together inside me right now to make my body function my heart is pumping I breathe automatically, I blink automatically, I um, I have all these things going on in my digestive system, uh, my hormones, my nervous system, my brain, all of these neurons that are firing in my head, you know, uh, synapses, everything, and all of the stuff that my body needs to do that. Somehow it gets all of that and it gets it done every single day. I've been breathing ever since I was born, my heart has been pumping, and my neurons have been firing, everything has just been working pretty perfectly since I was born and I'm just so, that baffles me and I'm so grateful for that and more people should take time to just say to your body, thank you for taking care of me and if you're not treating your body right, you better treat your body right, like if you're not eating and all that stuff, I mean, your body is just doing good things for you, why are you treating it like that? And then number nine is love. Love baffles me, and love fascinates me, and I've discovered something within me, and that is that I think I'm a hopeless romantic. I believe that I'll find someone, not necessarily the one, I don't believe in the one, I believe that there's a lot of people that could be the one in the world, but that I'll eventually find someone that I make my one, I don't know if that makes sense, but as I make experiences with this person, he, he or she will be the one. But love really baffles me in many ways like because a lot of people that fall in love are treat each other badly 
but also just love just baffles me like I want to experience that soon too it's so beautiful I'm not gonna cry <laughs> I'm not gonna cry literally I'm not gonna cry it's not like I was about to cry yeah okay you get it okay so number 10 is the opposite or actually I don't think it is the opposite of love because you can love someone and hate someone at the same time um, but hate is number 10. It just baffles me because there's so much hate in the world, which is so unnecessary. Unnecessary. That was, I don't know. And when I say there's a lot of hate in the world, I mean there's hate on, people hate themselves, people hate other people, people just spread hate. They don't smile to strangers, they don't say hi to people, they don't have good conversations with strangers in order to concept of a perfect stranger. Like, there's so much hate in the world, and the only thing it is doing is spreading more hate and making people feel bad and spreading negativity. And I just don't, it baffles me that there's so much hate. I mean, yes, we need some hate. I mean, there wouldn't be the contrast between love and hate if we didn't have hate. It's like you need negative to have the positive, you know? But we have so much hate that we forget love in many cases, and um, that just baffles me. Yeah, that's, uh, that was 10. Just gonna summarize. One was the Big Bang, that something can come out of nothing. Number two was the beginning of time. How can there be a beginning of time? What, what came before the beginning of time? What came before the Big Bang, which is number three. Uh, four, how can something be infinite? But then again, some, how can something be finite? finite? I don't know how you say that. Five is the concept of multiple universes, which means that there could be a me in another world that is slightly different. Um, Number six, humanity's ignorance or people's ignorance. And uh, number seven, society. Um, yeah, society and the media. And uh, number eight, our body, as in our body is working for us all the time, kind of thing. And uh, number nine is love. It's so beautiful. Blah, blah blah. Number ten, hate. I don't get it. Okay, that was about, that was like a summary basically of everything I just said in this video. I hope this kind of video was fun for you guys. If you want me to. Do any kind of 10 things video, um, for example 10 embarrassing stories, I don't think I have that many, but you know like 10 something, something, 10 things that make me happy, I had a video earlier that was that, or 10 things I don't like, or you know 10 things anything, 10 things about the IB, I don't know, uh, just leave a comment below if there's anything you want me, any video you want me to film, and I'll do that for you guys, okay, bye bye, happy Easter, by the way. <laughs>